Listen, I, I've been trying to beat Coach Jose for a long time, and it finally came, so I'm going to make sure I text him and let him know. No, I'm, I'm going to say this. Very, very hard-fought win simply because we had a lot of players that was not feeling 100%. We've been pumping fluids in them, pumping medicine in them. We didn't even practice yesterday. Uh, she came to shoot around, and she was live, and she was showing me that she wanted to practice. We didn't even have a conversation. Cause I sent her out in the gym acting as if I was mad at her. I said, get out of my gym, just go home. Okay? She came back, she accepted the challenge, and she played, but we got Kayla, uh, wasn't feeling well, sinus infection. So we got a lot of kids, and I'm sure a lot of people around the country have the same, but it wasn't an excuse. We fought through it, and we was able to beat a very good team tonight. First victory in program history over USF. Is that something you even addressed with your team leading up to the game? Absolutely not. I mean, this team right here would I, I don't need to talk to them about history. I'm talking to them about stringing together 40 minutes of, of, of excellence uh, with details and, and with effort. And that's all we talk about. I think at the end of this season, we'll start talking about the history, what we need to do, and, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just proud of them today. Marie, can you walk us through that final play on the block? OK, so <laughs> I was trying to just be in position, because we talk about a lot being in position 95% of the time. and. When the ball got in, I was I just kind of blacked out and didn't really even like know what was going on. I just kind of like that's your behavior. <laughs> I just tried to be in the right spot, and I just I went out and I contested the shot, and I I just I made a play, and it felt amazing because I knew my teammates were behind me, and it was it was just unbelievable. It was so fun. Have you, you ever had? Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Can you describe the energy and emotion you felt on the team after the block? I mean, it was close and crucial. And after that happened, you know, what did your teammates say to you? Everyone was just ecstatic. Like everyone was just so happy. They all came up and you know, like chest bumped me, high fived me, and we were all screaming. And nobody even really knew what was going on. We were all just screaming at each other because we were all just so excited. And even in the locker room after the game, like the the girls like. Um, came up to me and said like it was a good play and like they're so proud of me and like all this stuff and it, that was really nice to hear from them. You hear people talk about like dreaming of hitting the game winning shot. Do you ever think of a game winning defensive play like that? I honestly have never thought about it, but it was it was amazing. It was it was pretty fun. It was it was cool. Um, I I think that should be it shouldn't have come to that, but I'm I'm happy that we were able to make that play as a team. Is that one where you go up thinking don't foul because she would have gotten three free throws? Yes, definitely. I was try. I honestly didn't even think I was going to block it. I just wanted to contest it so because I have long arms. So like, if she was able to shoot it over my hand, then you, you know that's a good shot. But um, it, I just, I just blocked it. <laughs> Your last victory, you beat Wichita State by twenty eight, and you've talked all year about. The young team, your young team, learning and developing. Did you need a win like this, where you had to grind it out right down to the end? Well, we done grind out so many games and lost them in the end. Yeah, it's about time. The law of averages needs to to fall on our side. But I don't know if we needed it. I think we needed another game like Wichita State, where we trusted our execution and we played hard for 40 minutes. Uh, we played hard for 40 minutes tonight. It wasn't pretty. We didn't execute. Uh, down the stretch on the offensive end, but we played extremely hard on the defensive end. Uh, it came down to a last play, and it was the last play that took away a three-point shot. I don't think uh, Jose was trying to go into overtime. He was trying to break our backs with the three-point shot. It's like he's waiting to the very, very last second, and uh, he thought Marie or anyone was someone was going to go to sleep on the backside, and she was able to exercise them defensive principles and, and close out. and. Um, that type of play is a small win in practice every day. They don't celebrate that in practice. If we celebrate that in practice like that every day, we would, we would understand those are important, important things that we can do in the game. She's very capable of doing it. I'm just ecstatic like the team is that she did it tonight. You talked about several of your players not feeling well today. You didn't have Amber Bacon. Yeah. Where did you miss her, her the most in your rotation on your guard? I miss her every day in practice. I miss her every game because she brings energy. She's another live body. She's another athlete. She's another person that's a threat in transition. Uh, there, there's so many ways that I miss her. I got Ariana playing extended minutes. I got a lot of people playing minutes that uh, you can't 
you can't, if any one of them get in foul trouble, then I'm scrambling. So I miss, I miss Amber, and I told the team at the beginning of the year we was going to need every single body, everybody that was in the locker room this year because we didn't have the experience um, to overcome. We wasn't the greatest athletes to overcome anything, so we had to execute everything together. And I think they're, they're starting to believe me. The season is about halfway over, and I think now I have their attention. You led by three at halftime and were able to stretch that to nine or ten in the third. How were you able to stretch the lead, and then what did USF do to close it back and make it closer than you probably wanted at well, the end? Well, I think in the second half, and, and this is what me and Marie have been talking about, when we was a slow start in that second half, I threatened her really, really hard, told her I would never start her again in the second half. But any, anyway, um, what we did, there was somehow maybe it was a shot clock or the, the, the time clock or something stopped. So I immediately called my team over, and uh, I drew up a play. It's the first time we ran the play this season. Uh, I told them it was a play that would give us momentum or possibly win the game. And they executed to perfection. Kayla White knocked down the three. Then we came back, got a stop, got another basket. It forced them to call a timeout. So at that time, we had the momentum. We're a young team. You ain't. Now, the second part of that question, how did UCF come back and regain momentum? We're a young team. We got excited about it, and we got relaxed. And uh, with that type of team, with that type of coach, they're never going to quit and they're going to continue to execute for 40 minutes. And, and when we let up, they took advantage of it. For someone that he says is a slow starter, you got your fourth start of the year today. Does that change your approach or your mindset as opposed Second to coming half. off the bench? <laughs> Second half starter. Uh, it it kind of changes my mindset. You know, I've always tried to be putting my best play forward and, you know, always trying to be a positive contributor on the court. Um, getting my fourth start just makes me have more confidence that he has confidence in me, you know, to put me on the court and to be a leader on the team as a freshman, which is incredible. I'm so grateful for that. And um, I just want to make my team have energy and get a good start to the game. And it just, it makes me want to keep going, honestly. It just makes me want to keep grinding in practice and getting everyone together and connected before the before practice, before the games, so we can just come out and just kill everything when we play. You've got a week until you go down to Houston, and apart from getting your team a little healthier, what would you like to see improved or cleaned up between now and Saturday? Well, a lot of things. Houston is going to probably play us with a lot of aggression, with the traps, and that's one of our weaknesses. Uh, I, I was looking for USF to show some form of trap. They got a swarm defense they do. They didn't trap us tonight, so we didn't have to face that. And I think most coaches won't do that when they feel they don't have enough bodies or it, they have a little gap in their defense. So he didn't try tonight. I would like to work on our press offense and our decision-making at the end of the press. If we don't do that, I think every team going down the stretch is going to show that to us, but I think we have the ability, especially if we get when we get Amber back, we have the ability to to execute and take advantage of that. And if we grow in that area, that's what I would love to see because it will give them more confidence because they they almost afraid to make mistakes because turnovers are the thing that we talk so much about. I didn't mention turnovers the last couple of days. We didn't talk about the press the last couple of days because I saw it becoming a mental block with the team. So. I want them to just go out and play free. You mentioned that you've been trying to beat USF's coach for a long time. Yeah. And at the end of the game, when you shook hands, it looked like you shared a small laugh or something with him. Yeah. Did he say anything that you can share? Well, he thinks my team is playing better than I think my team is playing. <laughs> and he thinks I'm complaining, and, but, but I'm not. It's just that I'm trying to figure out what my team wants. I know what they say they want but the actions are not showing it. So uh, that was, the, that was the, the words that we, we kind of went back and forth. And I know he's having those same struggles with his freshman point guard. Uh, she can play good some nights and some nights she can like, make him want to pull his hair out. So we kind of joked about that before the game and a little bit after the game. And I wish him the best of luck the rest of the season.